Community Partner Dashboard will be the first page a partner views after logging into MyBridges. The information a partner views on their dashboard depends upon the type of partner role that person and organization have. If a partner also serves as a referral partner, new referral displays in the notification section. When new referrals are sent to an organization, partners can easily learn this here. Partners can search for clients in their directory on their dashboard. If a navigator has a new client assigned to their caseload, a notification displays. Let's review the I want to section. The options in this section allow partners to quickly view groups of clients with specific needs. Clients with urgent needs are clients who respond in help me find resources and selected needs that MDHHS has categorized as urgent. Urgent identification is only a community partner feature. A client does not know if they have identified a need that is considered urgent. Listed on the screen are example of needs that MDHHS has categorized as urgent. If you select a quick link, such as clients with urgent needs, on your dashboard, the client directory opens with only the clients in that category filtered. You can select the client's name to view their profile and any information the client has given consent to share with you. If you select the All filter, you can view all the clients assigned to you in My Bridges in the client directory. Just like from the Partner Dashboard, using the client directory, partners can search for their client from the text field. Using the directory, you can view the client's information. The information you can view depends on what the client has consented to sharing. Notice you can view the household information, needs and resources, benefit information, appointments, and documents needed. You only want to use this information to view the client's case when they are not there with you. If the client is with you, it is best to have them log into their account to answer questions. There is also a comments box at the bottom of the page. This comments box is not seen by the client and is a helpful place for you to record notes. Notice that at the bottom of the page is a consent section. Here you can see what information the client has decided to share with the navigator. Clients can give you consent to see their resources, household details, benefits, and allow you to interact with their caseworkers. On each of the tabs, you will see a quick summary of the different topics. Click on Benefits and notice that you can view a client's benefits, letters, and case history if they have given their consent. After clicking on Benefits and selecting View Case History, you will see the most recent application submitted, changes reported, and renewed benefits. For applications, you will see a full list of their submission history. You can also see the results of healthcare applications by clicking View Results. For the healthcare application results, you can see the individual applying for healthcare, the type of coverage, and the status of the application. To go back, simply click Back in the Healthcare Applications Results box. By clicking the Report Changes tab, you will see a history of all the times your client has reported a change, including the tracking number and the date submitted. By clicking the Renew Benefits tab, you will see a history of all the times your client has renewed their benefits, including the tracking number, the program that was renewed, the form that was completed, and the date submitted. To go back to the client directory, click Back to Client Directory. On the Docs Needed tab, you will see a list of documents the client needs to submit. As a navigator, you will see both the document type that is needed and the date it needs to be submitted by. If the document is listed in the red text, that means that the document is overdue and has not been submitted. On the Benefits tab, you will see the list of programs that your client is active in and the names of the participants in each program. By selecting the View Benefits tab, you will be able to see more detailed information about the client's benefits. Here the partner can see the participant's provider, type of service, their required payment, MDHHS payment, the total amount needed to resolve the need, and the benefit period. You can always view helpful resource links available to participants on this page. To view redetermination letters the client has received, click Benefits and then select View Letters. If you would like to see the client's letters, you can click the blue hyperlink under the letter title to see a PDF version of the letter. Notice the benefits to-do list on the right-hand side. 
The Benefits To-Do List automatically guides the client to better manage their benefits. To-Do items can be renewal related, verification or document related, or appointment related. Notice the red exclamation icon at the top. This shows the navigator that their client has an urgent need related to their case. If a client has given consent to view their needs and resources with the navigator, the navigator can see the resource topic the client has, the number of needs in the topic, and the number of corresponding resources the client has. Click the Needs and Resources tab. This will show the topics of the client's needs and resources. Selecting Show More will show all the resources a client has added to the resource page. This is the same information the client sees. You can also view a PDF file of their saved resources by selecting View PDF of Saved Resources under Next Steps on the right side of the page. Notice if you click on the link to a resource that is a My Bridges partner, you will be able to view the client's referral status. The referral gives the client's contact information to the organizer to learn more about the services they provide. Notice My Bridges Partners will have a purple badge in the top left corner of their page after selecting the link. If a client has previously removed a resource they had on their current resource page, a list of removed resources will show on the Removed Resources tab, also located under Next Steps. From this page, partners can see removed resources from the past year. For each resource, you will see the need the resource can meet, the name of the organization, if a referral was sent, the date removed, and a button to suggest to the client the resource. To suggest a resource to the client that they previously removed, the partner can click the Suggest to Client button. After a resource is suggested, the button will turn green and read Resource Suggested. To indicate that a resource has been sent to the client. The client will receive a notification on their dashboard, mobile phone, or email that their navigator has suggested a resource. Notice the Explore Resources and Help Me Find Resource buttons. Partners can also suggest resources to their clients by completing Explore Resources or Help Me Find Resources for their client. To complete Explore Resources or Help Me Find Resources for your client, click on one of the buttons to start the search. Both Explore Resources and Help Me Find Resources will look exactly the same as the client sees. Using this feature is helpful when reviewing a client's case or when they are not physically with you. Like the client can do after clicking on the resource, you can submit a request to 211 to fix information that is incorrect. To suggest a resource to your client, all you have to do is click the blue Send Resource to Client button. Again, the client will receive a notification on their dashboard, mobile phone, or email that their navigator has suggested a resource. 